What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is just a quick video of the M100 versus Bantam uh, T3C comparison and uh, what the differences are. So, turn the TV. Okay. So, the main differences between a Bantam T3C and an M100 are the Bantam has a tailgate cut in it from the factory. So this one has tailgate missing. Um, it's supposed to have uh, metal floors, but they completely rotted away. So they're cut out. Um, so of course it has tailgate cut in it, has three tie downs, one, two, three, instead of four. The 100 would have one right here. You can see it right there, 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 one behind the fender there, then right there. This one only has it there right there right here so if we go back to the 100 uh, also the uh, leaf spring shackle has three different positions so three different ride heights the Bantam only has one on this lower spot so right here which they ended up doing away with the three slot right there and going to this one slot on the M416s, the later trailer sitting right back over there. <clears throat> um, the leaf springs are beefier on the M100 versus the Bantams. Uh, you can see this one's got three, a uh, little bit larger springs on it, a little bit thicker. So you can see the thickness right there. Versus the M100 has quite a few more one two three four five six seven eight has eight instead of three but these are also a lot thinner also the now this particular m100 does have a tailgate cut in it um i also flipped them up on their sides just so we can get a good, good look on the bottom um but this particular m100 does have a tailgate cut in it it does have the original brackets for the tail lights on both sides uh, if you look on the Bantam, you walk back over here. This is the tailgate, or I'm sorry, the uh, taillight bracket right here. And it's got this support coming down, this wing or ear, whatever you want to call it, coming off of it because these trailers have no support when they have tailgate cut in them. So the beds of the trailers will just flop around real bad. So they put these on there just to give it some support. Um, another difference between the Bantam TC3s or T3Cs and the M100 is the landing leg slash pedal system. So this particular one has a ball style. This is not the original setup here. However, there was a ball that went a ball setup that went right there versus the M100 has the Lynette ring and that is the correct setup for the M100 uh, the TC3 T3C sorry uh, it secures through that bolt hole right there that bolt right there now this particular M100 let me zoom back out has mutt wheels on it and they're not supposed to, but um, this one does. I will change those eventually. This is just how this trailer came. Uh, also, there is no parking brake on the Bantams. So there's nothing underneath for any type of parking brake mechanism. So you can see it's just a hub. <clears throat> but the M100s have brake drums. Uh, brake drums your parking brake cables run through there same thing right there going to a handle up at the top right there this one also has the inner vehicle cable box and then this is just a quick look inside of it So those are, are also one more difference between the Bantam T3C is also 
the equipment loops on the front. So you can see there's two equipment loops right there. And the Bantams only have one. There's also on the M100 grab handles right there on all four corners. And the Bantams do not have grab handles. Um, also, the Bantams have these little stake pockets. The M100s do not have those. The M100s are designed to float in the water if you seal them up properly. And of course, the Bantams will not. They don't. They didn't need that option. So that's. Those are the main differences between the M100s. I know there's a couple things that I'm missing, but um, of course the tail lights are going to be a little bit different as well. Uh, these started production in the the Bantam started production in the early 40s, or I'm sorry, the late 40s rather after World War II. And this particular M100, uh, I actually don't remember when this one was made, but uh, I do have a title for this one. I just don't remember when it was made, but um, there are, as as you can see, there are some differences in here. This one does have commercial wiring. I'm gonna redo all that. I'm gonna end up probably putting a new floor in this one. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna leave the tailgate in here. Of course, clean it up some, but these these trailers are a lot more handy with the tailgate in them. So I am gonna leave this tailgate in here, just clean it up some, like I said. I will end up doing another M100 build. So what I'm gonna do is I'll get, and this is gonna take some time, but it's gonna go from, go with my M38A1. Um, it's gonna be, I'm gonna try to get a M100 frame, you know, complete frame. I know I'm gonna have to redo it and all that stuff, but then get a reproduction tub and put on there. And of course I'll have to get fenders and stuff like that as well. Uh, the fenders on the TC3, or T3C, sorry, um, I believe are the same between that and the M100. Uh, of course, the wheels are the same, the hubs are the same. Um, this one has been repaired right here. So, but with that said, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Uh, this has just been a quick comparison. I appreciate y'all tuning in. If y'all would like, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll talk to y'all later.